a recent new finding of the Thing fossil and have another Antarctica mystery. What are the origins of this Thing fossil unraveled by scientists in Antarctica? This mysterious object discovered in Antarctica, scientists called the Thing, has had its true origins now revealed. In 2011, researchers from Chile discovered a mysterious fossil in the shape of a deflated rugby ball in Antarctica. It sat in Chile's National Museum of Natural History for almost a decade, scientists unable to determine what it was, where it came from. It looks like a rock-like object. It was baffling, and scientists simply referred to it as the thing. But experts at the University of Texas at Austin have analyzed the fossil and they have now discovered it's a giant soft-shelled egg that dates back almost 66 million years ago. We know what happened 66 million years ago. We had the dinosaur extinction event supposedly caused by a comet impact, an asteroid impact. This thing is 11 inches by 7 inches. It's the largest soft-shelled egg to ever be discovered and the first fossilized egg to be discovered in Antarctica. This soft-shelled egg did not come from dinosaurs. They say it rather was from a giant reptile, according to the researchers published in the journal Nature magazine. The lead author is Lucas Legendre. These are his images here. He's a postdoctoral researcher at UT Austin's Jackson School of Geoscience, and he says it is from an animal the size of a large dinosaur, but it's completely unlike a dinosaur egg. It's most similar to eggs of lizards and snakes, but it's from a truly giant relative of these animals. The shell had deflated as whatever was inside it had hatched 66 million years ago, but by comparing the shell to 259 living reptile eggs, Mr. Legendre found a correlation between the reptile size and its eggs. So in doing so, the reptile, which had laid the ancient egg, would have had to be more than 20 feet long from the tip of its snout to the end of its body and not counting its tail. After the discovery, the researchers narrowed it down to two marine reptiles which lived 66 million years ago. These were the Mosasaurus and the Pleosaurus. Mr. Legendre said many authors hypothesized that this was sort of a nursery site with shallow protected water a cove environment where the young ones would have had a quiet setting to grow up. And according to the statement from University of Texas Austin, there are two theories as to how the, the ancient marine reptiles could have laid their eggs. Their statement said, one involves the egg hatching in the open water, which is how some species of sea snakes give birth. And uh, the other involves a reptile depositing the eggs on a beach and hatching scuttling into the ocean like baby sea turtles. The researchers say this would demand some fancy maneuvering by the mother because giant marine reptiles were too heavy to support their body weight on land. And he says laying the eggs would require a reptile to wriggle its tail on shore while staying mostly submerged and supported by the water. This is uh, on Express UK by Sean Martin. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.